Oh look now, folks. What have we got here? Oh. Oh. Morning legends, it's just gone six o'clock. Just decided to come out for the Saturday car boot because apparently Sunday it's supposed to be raining like Saturday afternoon then Sunday don't know if it's going to be on to be honest the car boot but here at the Surrey car boot I do have two choices for Saturday car boots possibly three but two local ones anyway so I decided to go to Surrey car boot in your village uh, it's not usually that big no one really gets here till seven o'clock buyers or really sellers it's only a couple of rows at the moment but I'll We'll do a bit of GoPro footage um, when I can and turn you around. There we go. It's only a couple of rows so far, so it's not that great, but I'll go around and see what I can find. And yeah, hopefully I'll get some goodies to share with you at a haul at the end. Right, it's picked up a little bit. About six or seven rows. Picked up these Fulham mags, loads of them here for tenner. So I do bundles of them full. And a few bits and pieces. PSP games for 12 down there oh, let me just take that off a few shared shoes got to PSP yeah it took ages to get all this stuff but oh well anyway as I say it's way after 8 o'clock um, what's that should the time whoops time is oh no 7.59 nearly 8 o'clock so 1, 2 uh, 3, 4, 5 6 rows Nah, it's okay, cool. Go around a few more times, see what I can find. Right, I picked this one up for £20 to PS3. It's not backwards compatible, but it's worth way more than £20. I've got a few games to go with it. Lovely, just test that, bish bash bosh. Oh, lovely, perfect for Mondo. That one, uh, from one of the dealer guys, it goes to Hook. Uh, I can't remember what his name is, he's got a white hair, and yeah, and anyway, that's for 20 Let's put it down there and get it and then in here i got these ones for three pounds not each but we we'll, we'll, we'll together did me deal with i've got a playstation there connect that's the excellent tour burnout i feel like blackout should go for tenner burnout should do a well that's the bundle and that's for the psp that i got for 12 quid so brilliant and it's getting quite big so I might just quickly go around and do a bit of GoPro footage in a bit and I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh look now folks, what have we got here? All for a tenner. Chelsea, boom, Arsenal and a bottom lot are mixed. All for, all for a tenner. Chelsea, Arsenal and a mix will go separately and I'll probably between 15 and 20 pound each. Boom, because a lady came over. They originally said 20, 20 and now I said 10. And she's in there and then I thought, and she came over to me and said, you came from a tenner, I thought, yep, done, boom. Car, it's bloody warm now. Oh, blimey. One more lap round and I'm done. And the good thing about this car boot, sorry car boot, is you haven't got far to go to the car. Because there's the boot, there's my car, about one second, even if you're down there, about a minute. <laughs> no, this is good. I'm like the other car boots. Thank you. 
Oh well, Tom's coming up. Pick it up for 250. Lovely. Oxford Spell Checker. Let's go. One last lap. Oh, I'm going home. Oh, I've squashed me double decker. Squashed it, folks. How much on these? Five pounds, mate. Okay. Yep. Mm. Okay, no worries. It's nine o'clock now, done around about eight or nine laps around, even though it's very small. But you've got to do is laps around the car boot to get stuff. So if I didn't do it, I wouldn't have got the PS3 or even the PSP and stuff like that in the magazines. So you've got to do it, folks. Let's turn yourself around here. So that was Surrey car boot. You spend from like 20 past six when I got there, you spend about an hour walking around thinking, damn, it's going to be rubbish. But you've got to think of positive mind, folks. A positive mind. Plus, I squashed my double decker, folks. I already had one. There's my second one, I squashed it. <laughs> sad emoji, folks, sad emoji. Anyway, so yeah, I got around, and you'd probably spend two, three hours here, which I did. It's nine, nine o'clock, gonna go home, sort of stuff out. I'll do the haul later, get this up probably Sunday or Monday, depending on the weather. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what it's gonna do. It might rain, but yeah. Here's the haul, it's the evening time now. I had time to sort what it is, and sort it all out what it's worth as well so what i'll do i'll share the item is what i paid and what it's worth so it's saturday the 31st of july i went down to surrey car boot today which is five minutes from my house there's a local one on saturday i can go to two car boots but i went to the one locally it looked like rain it had rain today i wasn't sure if the car boots would be on tomorrow but i've really decided not to go down the car boot for hook with the surrey one it's different from hook hook you wait to go in Stand in the queue to 7 o'clock, paid £2, but it's bosh. But I'm sorry, car boot, deals are getting from half past five. I got there about 20 past six. Mill about for an hour, because hardly anyone gets there till 7 o'clock when it's advertised. And then all the vultures are there around the boots of the cars, picking that out everything before, it, before they've even got anything out, which is annoying. So I'll show you what I got. So, we got this Doctor Who... Box set for £3, should be worth £18. I'm missing one book, Feast of the Drowned there. If anyone's got a piece of a drowned, let me know. My Instagram, Facebook's in the description below. Send that to me, that'd be appreciated. Billy Piper, Sexy Billy Piper, Christopher Eccleston, Billy Piper again, David Tenninch, <laughs> says Billy Piper. That's cool. 
Then I picked up these vans um, for £2.50, worth £30, size 9, bish bash bosh. The prices are all over the place, to be honest. Like, they wanted £20 for a pair of Converse, £5 for a Friends box set, for example. Like, a pound for trainers. I'm thinking, come on, come off it, love. Or people, you know what I mean? But that's okay, because all the bottoms are re really good condition. I should get around £30 for those. Um, next one is a PSP. A lady had a Wii next door to the PSP, which she wanted 25 I said, no, nope, can't do it. No games or nothing. PSP. I paid £12 no lot. She wanted 10 for that. And two each for that, but I got it for some reason for 12. It's the 1000 edition, I think. Um, yeah, PSP 1000. There's different versions of the PSP. No lead, doesn't turn on. This, this one is different battery, it came with um, 110. So I need to source a new battery. I might have a um, cable charge up when the battery comes. Five six stories we have for seven pounds, I bundled that up. This one going on its own, Dragon Ball Z goes for twenty-four pounds, easy. So that's cool, PSP game there, yeah. Dragon Ball Z, Vice City Stories, PSP. That's pretty simple. First PSP pickup um of the season. Don't normally see it that often, but I was happy with what it is, twelve pounds. Because the PSP goes for uh, forty to fifty pounds anyway on its own. Um, some Nike Air shoes. I paid two pound fifty for the Nike Airs, worth around twenty five. Nike Air Dragon ones. They're in pretty good condition. They're size four, so they're only worth twenty five pounds. Clean up a little bit. Just bash bosh. Two fifty to twenty five. Can't grumble. And then I picked up a load of um, football magazines. So there's a load of Fulham FC football magazines. Um, 1993, 95, 96, 98, 99, there's a few randoms I put in with another bundle. So we have got this lot here, which is the 95, 96, worth £20, Fulham FC. Your Fulhams, because wherever you live, you see different types of um, football magazines. So, London clubs. So, what you got? Gary Brazil, Mickey Adams, Tony Lang, Duncan Duop. So that one going for 20, uh, 20 pounds easy. A couple of these. If I get them out, a couple of those. There's just a team sheet there. Nothing special. And then we got um, these here, 1992-93 season. Uh, should go for around £20, easy. In very good condition, proper good condition. So, all Fulham, FC. And the next one's a 98-99, should go for around £20 again. Which is quite nice because the reason why £20 because they become champions of the old Division 1, which is a championship now. When they become in the Premier League, loads here. Quite a few. So that was one pickup, and then had a few randoms which I put in another bundle. Um, and next one, oh, because with, with all the Fulham ones, I paid £10 for the lot. And Thunderbirds here. Oh, let me just go out there. There uh, we go, that's one. I should have some little fun, mini Thunderbirds in there. I paid a pound. When I get some uh, batteries in the bottom there, that should go for around £15 all day long. Thunderbird 2, Thunderbirds are go. That's quite a nice one. Uh, let's have a look with next pick up there. Uh, oh, these. So, there's there's a dealer guy there who does a little bit of house clearances and other bits and pieces where he gets his stock from. He goes to Hook quite a lot. In his mid-50s, grey hair. 
people might know like who, who he is. I picked up a load of these. So he he wanted a pound each for these, like your SXX on tour, P, PSP game, your Connect Adventures, your Burnout Revenge, and your, and your Black Adders. Because I got a, another pickup, he did these for three pound, so that's seventy five p per one, which is good. So that goes for around um, seven pounds, and that. So I was pretty happy with that because you go like. Um, four ninety nine, five ninety nine, about seven pound for that. So I'm pretty happy with that. And because I picked up the PlayStation Three, what a big twenty pounds! All, all your cables there. Your PS Three for, for twenty pounds, not com back to compatible, nothing. It's got a little bit missing at the sides, but I should be able to get around £45 with a couple of games. Not going to buy best purchase, to be honest, really. But what can you do? For example, with the games and the media for cheap, that's my one of my bread and butter. Um, bread and butter stuff. Um, that I do a lot. Oh, and, and then a lady, there was some Chelsea Arsenal mixed uh, magazines. I said to her on first off, like when the first, I said like at half past six in the morning, I said, how much do you want for these? She want 50p each. I was like, okay. I walked off. And then went round later and said, how much do you want for a whole lot? She said, give me a price. I'm like, I ain't giving a price up. So I said, £10? Would the 20, I can't go to 20, 15, and uh, I left it, and she didn't want to take it home, I guaranteed. So she came and found me, said, 10 pounds, yep, done, bish, bash, bosh, easy. So, we've got the Chelsea magazines from different years, like 80s and early 90s. Usual, Chelsea FC, the best team in the world. And that should go around £15 for all the mags. I paid £10 for it all. £15. And then you got your Arsenal mags. That should go for around £15. Usual for standard. One, one of these. Early 90s. Yeah, really early 90s. Happy with that one. And then you've got your big mix because. You've got a mix section here. That was loads. Watford's, your, um, what have we got you? Queer Alexandra, Aldershot, Fulham, Wickham Wanderers. That's loads here. Loads. And that's going around for around about £30. Easy all day long. Quite heavy. So I'll go probably collect plus something there. And oh, there's a little ticket here which I've got to check out. An Ipswich ticket versus Fulham, Vision 1, 20th of March 2000. Just, just before Fulham got promoted. And probably, I don't know what I go on, probably about 10 or something. Might as well. Then, oh, nice little spell checker right at the end. £2.50 into 15. Yeah, it, it worked pretty much. So that one into £2.15, £15, can't go wrong. And that's what I picked up. I paid £66.50. What I will get back without the eBay fees and without the postage fees and everything else, if you're taking into returns into account and your offers, probably around about £356.93. So I'm pretty happy with the day's work. On that one. So if you did like this video, let me know in the comments below and like, share, and subscribe. Catch you later. Take care.